All right. Hello. And for the fifth episode, Zim's a little bit tipsy. Um, my wife's like, hey, let's have some pizza and wine and stuff. And we're all good. So for this episode, <laughs> Zim's a little bit on tilt. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I'm going to be kicking myself later. Anyway, it is the 11th of February. And in not very much time, <clears throat> I have a happy birthday session of From Other Sons with a friend. So we're not going to dilly-dally. No fucking 28 minutes of shit. Just quick, lickety-split, jump in, jump out, and we're done. Okay? That's that's what we got to do. But I said we would do this daily, so we're doing it daily. And I'm here. I'm here for you. Okay? Look at me longingly in my fucking eyes, goddammit. <laughs> We're having a special connection. Okay, so let's look at Reddit. Do the old daily refresh. I always have one message for some reason pending. Oh, now I've got two messages and a notification. Feck, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, shopping at 2 a.m. Be like. What? Is, oh, I've seen this. I've seen this. This is amazing. What? Reload it. Come on. What's up? Yeah, so you got a pin. Of the guy from Monty Python. You've got a driving wheel base of some nature. A G27, which is the same wheel that I'm bidding on. And a an, a third-party charger, which I... Wait, charger? No, stand. Why do you need to stand for your headset? I don't understand that. Can you buy me things tomorrow with your guards at 2 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I wonder what my wife would say if she came home from a long day at work. I work from home. And I had all this shit set up in our living room. <laughs> uh, uh, downside, she leaves you. 20 years married, I know things. <laughs> Upside, you have a sick racing rig and you play as much VR as you want without her bitching constantly that you should be doing something else. <laughs> I'm gonna escape the VR and fucking leave this marriage. That's right. It's not about divorce anymore. It's about like a virtual reality divorce, which is like a better kind of divorce because there's no lawyers involved, just a bit of a kickstand and a G27. Sort it. All right. Um, all ready for GT7 VR with a crazy ass uh, steering wheel. What What is that? DRSK2. The feck is that? It looks like Fanatec. It's got the branding of Ferrari on it. <coughs> what is this? I'm pretty sure this thing can take off at a runway. I'm a pilot. Aircraft yokes are nowhere near this complicated. Yeah. That looks over the top expensive. So worth it. It feels so good. It's a replica of the F1 Ferrari wheel they use in real life. What does the drink button do in actual F1? Sprays water in your face. <laughs> $400 for the wheel. That's not too bad. I've seen way worse. But holy shit, that's a lot of buttons. That's a lot of buttons. Wow. I'd use the oil one. But yeah, drink. Drink is up there. I don't know. That's funny. That's what Zim's been doing tonight. He's been pressing that drink button. I took Resetra's list of upcoming VR2 games and added store listings where possible for your wish listing and purchase pleasure. Over 50 PlayStation Network store links. Descriptions and notes after titles are Primal Sages, not mine. I'm in the UK, so these links are to the GB store, but should be easy to amend to the ENEUS links. All links are the PS5, PSVR 2 versions where available. Some are missing, so noted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Games you want to buy. Two empty football. Skip. Across the Valley. Skip. Affected the Asylum. You probably want to buy that if you've never played it before. Otherwise, skip. Afterlife skip, after the fall, purchase that immediately. Aliens VR, not out yet. Servios, right? Altar Breaker, skip it. Alvo, skip it. Among Us, eh, skip it. Ancient Dungeon, buy this whenever it becomes available. Awesome Asteroids, Beat Saber, skip it! Feck you, Meta. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you like Beat Saber, eh, whatever. Uh, Before Your Eyes, a lot of people have been interested in it, but I think it's going to be a one-time job. Behemoth, when it becomes available, probably buy it. Uh, Black, Hawk, Black Top Hoops, not really my kind of thing, so I can't recommend or not recommend it. Uh, Black Trail, don't know what that is. Bloody Hell, don't know. Cactus Cow, the fuck, is that a porno? Uh, Cave Digger, no. 
cities don't know yet. We'll try and let you know. Creed, I would personally skip it unless you're like really into boxing. There's better boxing titles. Colossal Cave, no, don't do it. I've played it. Cosmonius High is actually really good. So if you like job sim type stuff, this is like their best and a great title. But I think it got lost in the ether a little bit. So it's underrated for what it's worth. Uh, Crossfire, I can't say. Sayub, God, the amount of glare in that game. No, thank you. Um, Switchback, buy it when it, when it comes out. D-Day Enhanced, what the hell? That's the Honor and Duty one. It's kind of like a mock-up of a Battlefield game, but probably a skip. Demio is an instant buy. Uh, Let us the stock distortion these are all just skip 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 drums rock skip 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 fantavision actually i don't know fantavision i don't know so i can't i can't talk to that uh exorcist legend a lot of people think it's scary but it's also shoddily put together so i, I would skip that firewall ultra is an instant buy you will get i think tens if not hundreds of hours out of that if you're an fps lover firmament is a buy as a puzzler that's like one of the best games you could possibly hope for if it's coming to PSVR 2, then my dreams are answered. Galaxy Cart. Yeah, Galaxy. The Garden of the Sea is actually quite good. They say Animal Crossing. I agree. Uh, Ghostbusters multiplayer, kind of Left 4 Dead style, but cartoony. Might be good. Ghost of Tabor. Might be good. Golf Plus is great. Really, really good. Uh, worth doing. <clears throat> Their DLC recently has been, like, super expensive. GT7, if you have a wheel, buy it. If you have just a controller... Or you're like, ah, I don't really like racing games. And then feck and skip it. Green Hell, <clears throat> I would skip it. Grim Lord, Hello Neighbor. This one I'm really interested in. I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be really dramatic in VR. So we're, I'm going to try that one. Hell Split, eh, I'm not sure. Horizon is a day one purchase. Hubris, if you're itching for more content, I'd buy it on a sale. <clears throat> Hyperstacks, Job Sim, it's fecking old at this stage. If you're really desperate, okay, but otherwise, no. Jurassic World is skippable. Uh, Kayak is like, yeah, buy it. Don't know what that is. Last Clockwinder is a purchase for sure. The Last Worker, don't know what that is. <laughs> it's Russian. Last Brigade seems pretty cool. I'm going to try that one out and, and buy it myself. Lawn is supposed to be neat because it's been developed a long time. Lo-Fi, <clears throat> I don't know, Blair. I don't know what you're coming with. Uh, Technolust was very hit and miss. Um, Lo-Fi, I expect to be hit and miss as well. But let's see. We're holding, we're holding our judgment. Lucky Fish Bread should be fun, um, if you like that kind of thing. But yeah, cooking sim type thing. Madison looks good. I'm gonna try to play that. But I think because it's a port from flat to VR, it might be a little limited. Uh, Medieval Dynasty mixture, Moss Book 1, Moss Book 2. Like, the Mosses, if you haven't played them, then play them. But <clears throat> they're kind of, they're kind of like a generic Lucky's Tale, in my opinion. They're just another platformer that that's okay. That's pretty good, nice, nicely polished. But personally, I don't really attach to the Quill character. I just little mouse, Neolithic, Neo Bump, NFL, all skippers, in my opinion. Uh, no Man's Sky is quite good, but only if you like breadcrumb style stories we're going really deep on this on this single topic but i think it's worth it no man's sky is like if you haven't played it before i think it's gonna be quite phenomenal on psvr too and there's a lot there so if like if you're looking for a game that gives you value for money i think no man's sky is probably in the top five uh ovr dark i don't know it pavlov is gonna sell like crazy in my opinion uh it is your counter-strike in vr and if you're into shooters it's a have to do if otherwise skip peaky blinders i would personally pass it uh pirates vr meh pistol whip is great if you want exercise and entertainment at the same go then pistol whip is a no-brainer uh prison sim i don't know i haven't played it yet i have it project i don't know this one propagation was kind of buggy when i've seen it before puzzling places if you're looking to chill after work with a puzzle and just like you know you like Tetris Effect connected, and you're like, I'd like something else. Puzzling Places is awesome. Such a good game. Great scenes, great ambience. Um, I doubt there'll be much in terms of the tactile, you know, face rumbly side, but that looks really good. Airplane Challenge is very limited. I, I would personally skip. Sorry, Dev. Uh, same thing with Requisition so far. I just... 
I haven't felt it. Uh, RE4 remake is coming, so don't know. RE8 should be good and should be a purchase, but I've heard cautionary tales that the VR is a little bit sickness inducing. So just bear in mind, you want to be a vet for that. Res Infinite, classic fans are going to like it. Uh, the Rice Project, I don't know. Runner, I don't know very well. Samurai Slaughterhouse is coming, but it's just one of those games that I can't judge it yet. Shadowgate, The Minds of Mythrock, don't know. Think this is a, like from a survival game perspective where there's crafting. If you can stand crafting and you like a bit of adrenaline, go for Song in the Smoke. Really solid game. One of the best survivals in VR. Soul of Katero, don't know. Metroidvania in VR sounds good, though. Star Tenders, most people skipped it, but maybe it's good. I don't know. It's one of those, like, titles. Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge is really, like, middle of the road. Like, very, very uh, generic Star Wars tale. Like, you get to see some characters. You don't you don't bond with them at all. Uh, the environment is pretty cool. It's pretty decent, but it's kind of like a simple arcade shooter. Uh, you know, I would personally skip it. Stranger Things, don't know. Stride and skip it suicide skip it sewer super kit don't know is that just to the top i suppose it is survive again skip swordsman if you're really into blade and sorcery then that's your game synth riders is a great music title i like it a lot tetris effect love tetris effect that's my after work have no energy i'd play tetris effect it's really good tale of anagoro people who like manga and, and anime and stuff like that tend to, to like this tentacular is lovely it's a really nice feeling game bit of story bit of physics puzzles um yeah as they say mayhem on a city city scale but it's a nice game it's a nice game so if you like animal crossing as opposed to like giving people an unreal tournament then tentacular is probably for you but it's more of a puzzle game than anything actually uh twilight zone looks pretty cool i haven't played it tin heart same and uh thumper this is a must buy in my opinion if you like music rhythm games at all god this is like it's a music or rhythm violence game, I think is what they call it. Amazing. And the final level, if you get to it, if you have the stick to it in this to get to the end, it pays off, man. The end is so cool. I will say no more. Townsman VR, don't know it very well. Ultra Wings, meh. Uh, the first one was maybe a little better. All Undead Citadel, Vacation Sim. Again, these are all my Veil skippable. VR Skater, I don't know. Jury's out. I hope it's amazing. This one, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 1 and 2, both of them for me are going to be purchases. Wolf and Pigs, I don't know. Volcanic Core, short music game, probably not worth your purchase. Sorry, I know the dev behind that one, but uh, the first game was kind of similar. It's a passion project. If you're into stuff like that, then support the dev, I would say. Uh, Wandering in Space, don't know it very well. What the Bat, I still need to play. Windlands 2 is really good, worth a playthrough. Uh, the final boss is annoying as hell, and I wish they would have redesigned that part, but the rest of the game is really good fun. Great for multiplayer. Zenith, decent for multiplayer. Zombieland, don't know it. X8, personally, I would skip it. Most of this team's projects have been just wrong. They just don't know design very well. They've got the money, they got the funds, they got the passion, they develop it, they put it out, and then it flops. And they've had several titles like that. They do not listen to my advice, and I'm so sad of that because I've had contracts with them before. Um... Okay, that's that. Now, we're on to hands-on hardware and preview. Skip that. Light Brigade. Skip. Haters trashing PS302 before it launches. Nobody likes you. Um, 10 days remaining. Countdown. Is it only 10 days? Oh, shit. It's getting close. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, started GT7 again in preparation and got my first online win. What are you guys doing? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Uh, what do we say? 10 days. Uh, me too. We're hoping to get it on launch day. We all are. Platinuming RE7 to prepare to platinum RE8. Can't fucking wait. Love it. Love it. I haven't seen that one yet. Very good. <clears throat> all right. List of physical games. I don't care. Physical media is old. Um... I like my boxes from back in the day, but these days, I don't know. It's kind of like getting an LP. You're like doing it just to be cool. Uh, LPT is nothing to do with VR. I have heard very little conversation about art software and PSVR 2, and it's something I'm looking forward to. Anyone heard buzz on drawing and sculpting or animation software? I'm a 3D artist and sometimes illustrator. And as much as I'm looking forward to all the games coming out, some of my favorite experiences with PSVR 2 have been on the creative side. 
blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. What have people heard? I don't know. What's coming? No tilt brush, I imagine. In Horizon, you can paint on a rock. <laughs> oh, with your fingers. Yeah. Um, good luck with that. I'll be painting on the walls, Reddit Pavlov. <laughs> oh, I'd love an art game. You can recreate spaces from memories. Uh huh. Dreams. Dreams. Painting VR, Vermilion, and Gravity Sketch. So, in short, nobody knows. Okay. With PSVR 2 only a couple of weeks away, I decided to build myself a lake house. We saw this yesterday. F my wallet. Don't think I saw this one posted. Please remove if I'm missing. Is there really some surprises being held back? I'm worried for my wallet. <laughs> Perhaps this was the strategy. Uh, get everyone to buy Horizon Call of the Mountain and other games, then reveal more things. Brian Paul stated the recent email exchange with Sony uh, review keys have revealed some surprises. He added that he believes we'll be seeing even more PSVR 2 surprises, which are coming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to comment on this one. Returnal. VR. Returnal. Um, what do they call it? Astro... Astro's Playroom. And one surprise. I'm going to say that. Yep. That's what I think. I honestly think Returnal's coming. Okay. Demio demo available on Steam. Demio's great. I love Demio. Cave Digger, great for you. Kayak VR Broom. Broom. On the pole. Or would you hold both controls and a pole? It's a good point. That's a very good point. Very good point. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't use a broom, though. Should have got GT7 on sale before it arrives. Everyone's going to say yes. 154 comments. Yes, 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 yes. No. Wait until after it gets here and then pay full price. It's like the posts in the sub are just completely ridiculous now. Every random thought needs to be imposed, apparently. What? I can't sleep because of my ex excitement. Donate your plasma to fund PSVR 2. Should I buy every PSVR 1 game before knowing? I think the sub just gives fanaticism and showing off of a platform and encourages it with upvotes. Most people I've spoken to about it in person are waiting for release to make our choices. And that's completely fine. It's the safest bet. blah de blah de blah I would certainly buy it. I would buy it right now. Buy it. No. Get it when it's full price. What the? What? Easy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yes. Yeah, I would just buy it. Just buy it. Looks great. Looks great. Looks great. I'm probably not buying it myself. What is going on? Stop fecking with me, internet. <clears throat> I'm trying to create a, an emotionally constructed video. Let me do that. Okay, where are we? Down here. Almost there. We're almost done. Who is this? Don't be the parent who ghost writes the kids' texts. Yes, this is the thing. Teach fecking promoted shit. I don't want that. Uh, in preparation, are there any steering recommendations? G29, obviously. G923, that's fine. Uh-huh. 923 is not bad. T80, uh-huh. Uh, G29, yeah, G29 is the way to go, honestly. Thrustmaster ones are better and Fanatec ones are top tier, but for the price, G29 will do from... That's the thing. Like, you don't you don't need crazy things. You just a G29 will do you for many years, honestly, um, until you become a proper sim racer, and then like you dedicate your life to it. So it's fine. Is it worth playing in VR? Yes, it looks cool. What do other people think? Other people are saying, "Can't wait." The only thing I didn't like was the HUD components. Like, um, yeah, that would just the HUD is a bit annoying. Okay, so I think that's it. Look. This is going to be my plug. Broke my arm. And he, what? Broke my arm yesterday and will stay in the hospital. <laughs> I'm just going to say rip. Rip. Um, I got to say it. I got to say it, lads. Lads and ladies. <laughs> All right. That's it for today's show today's little time capsule thing i hope you enjoyed it that was number five 
I am Zimtok5, and that is me out for today. We're going to keep this going every day until the PSVR 2 shows up and I decide to abandon all ships and jump on nothing but VR for the next month. Man, I am super excited. I hope you're excited. Feck, join me on this ride. Let's go to the end of the rainbow. Woohoo!